Good morning, dear students. Today in mathematics, we shall start parameter, area, and volume, chapter number thirteen. So before we start any exercise, let's look at the basics of parameter, area, and volume. So in this basics, you will be learning some of the definitions and the formulas that we are going to use in this chapter. So. This is very important for you. You should learn this first. Then we will start the chapter. So look at here. I have prepared something for you. See, there are these are some basics of this chapter. Just remind it. So first of all, what is parameter? Parameter is the sum of the length of all the side of any closed plane figure. What is the meaning of a closed plane figure? See, look at this. This is the closed plane figure. See, for example, for example, example, if this is five centimeter, this is four centimeter, and this is four centimeter. See, when I will add all the three length you'll get the perimeter it means perimeter is the boundary of any figure perimeter is the boundary of any figure see after adding all the three length you'll get the perimeter clear now there are few formulas that you're going to use to find perimeter of certain figures okay see in the previous class you just added and fi uh, find your answer but here in this class we are going to use some formulas to get the answer. Okay. Now see. Perimeter of a square. This is a square. A square have all the four sides equal. If it is 2 cm. Then this is also 2 cm. This is also 2 cm. This is also 2 cm. This is just we are assuming. Okay. So perimeter of square equals to 4 into sides. 4 into side means all the sides are equal. If you will multiply. A side with 4 you'll get the perimeter of a square clear now next perimeter of rectangle perimeter of rectangle see this is a rectangle okay like this is 2 centimeter and this is 4 centimeter see if this is 2 centimeter this is also 2 centimeter if this is 4 centimeter this is also 4 centimeter clear so what is the formula Peri perimeter of rectangle equals to 2 into length plus breadth 2 into length plus breadth okay <clears throat> you just add both the length 4 plus 2 6 multiplied by 2 4 plus 2 6 into 2 is 12 so this is the parameter of rectangle you should know these formulas see sometimes you'll get some questions in which you need to find length of one side of a square keep in mind square okay here you have seen square have all the four sides equal. If it is 2 cm, all the sides are of 2 cm. Okay. See if the sides are not given. If the sides are not given and the perimeter is given only. If the sides are not given and the perimeter is given, then what is the formula you are going to use? Length of one side of square equals to perimeter divided by 4. Perimeter divided by 4. So this is the formula that you are going to use. Okay, now let's move. Let's move to area. What is area? The space occupied by a flat shape or the surface of an object. Flat shape or the surface of an object. In simple, in general, what is area? Area measures the space inside a shape. See, this is the shape. This is a rectangle and this is the space inside rectangle. This is the space inside triangle. So when we are measuring the space inside any shape or figure, we are measuring the area. Clear? So this is the area and how to measure this we are going to learn in this chapter. Okay. Now there are some formulas to find area of square. Area of square equals to side into side. Square have all the four sides equal. 
तो दिस साइड इन टू दिस साइड विल गिव यू द एरिया ऑफ स्क्वायर क्लियर नाउ एरिया ऑफ रेक्टेंगल एरिया ऑफ रेक्टेंगल सी दीज टू साइड आर इक्वल एंड दीज टू साइड आर इक्वल इफ इट इज टू सेंटीमीटर इफ इट इज फोर सेंटीमीटर टू वॉट विल डू वेन आई मल्टीप्लाई दिस साइड इन टू दिस साइड विल गेट द एरिया ऑफ रेक्टेंगल सो वॉट द फॉर्मूला ऑफ एरिया ऑफ रेक्टेंगल एरिया ऑफ रेक्टेंगल इक्वल्स टू लेंथ इन टू ब्रेथ इक्वल्स टू लेंथ इन टू ब्रेथ वेन आई मल्टीप्लाई लेंथ विथ ब्रेथ यूल गेट द एरिया ऑफ रेक्टेंगल क्लियर नेक्स्ट इज वॉल्यूम वॉट इज वॉल्यूम वॉल्यूम इज द अमाउंट ऑफ स्पेस एंड क्लोज बाय अ थ्री डायमेंशनल ऑब्जेक्ट अमाउंट ऑफ स्पेस एंड क्लोज बाय अ थ्री डायमेंशनल ऑब्जेक्ट नाउ यूर थिंकिंग वॉट इज थ्री डायमेंशनल ऑब्जेक्ट नाउ लुक एट दिस फिगर सी दिस इज अ थ्री डायमेंशनल ऑब्जेक्ट यू मस्ट हैव सीन सम ऑफ द बॉक्स बॉक्स इज अ थ्री डायमेंशनल ऑब्जेक्ट ओके नाउ सी ह्योर दिस इज शोइंग यू लेंथ This is showing you breadth, and this is showing you height. So a three-dimensional figure have length, breadth, and height. Clear? So when you'll find the space enclosed by a three-dimensional object, you're finding volume. You're finding volume. The best example of volume is your water bottle. your water bottle see the amount of water is there in your water bottle is showing you the volume of the bottle clear now next just look at some of the formulas of volume c volume of cuboid volume of cuboid what is cuboid cuboid is a kind of figure if you look at it it is looking like a rectangle and see the part uh, the best example of cuboid is the box or you can say that a shoe box a shoe box see here this is length this is height and this is breadth when you will multiply all length breadth and height all together l into b into h l is length b is breadth h is height when you multiply all the three you will get the volume of cuboid you will get volume of cuboid similarly next is volume of cube volume of cube see this figure here also we have this is side this is also side and this is also side cube is a three dimensional object so we have in place of length breadth and height we have all the three sides equal all the three sides equal height is equals to breadth and breadth is equals to length so we are calling this as side into side into side so what you need to do in place of length into breadth into height we are writing side into side into side so volume of cube is side into side into side if c if one side is given it means you should understand that all the sides are equal here so what you need to do you need to multiply all the three sides okay so side volume of cube is side into side into side so what you need to do today today you need to write all these three or all these uh, given formulas and definitions in your notebook okay and in the next class we shall start exercise 13.1 in next class we shall start exercise 13.1 so today you have to complete up to this only okay thank you